KC one of those, although a 3-1 defeat, uh, you feel as though you could have got something out of the game? Yeah, I think definitely. You saw Leighton was, was pushing, but goals changed games and they took their chances and we've got to go again, we've got a game in a couple of days, so we need to be focused on that and try and get a three points then. And for you, it was an introduction that you probably weren't quite expecting so early. No, it's obviously me and Callum are close friends, so it's never nice when someone goes down, obviously on a stretcher as well, so fingers crossed for Callum, which is obviously a big, big blow for the team and the club, so hopefully it's nothing too serious and he's back playing soon. Yeah, your manager says fearing the worst but hoping for the best. Yeah, I think that's what I kind of said to him, you just got to pray that it's nothing too bad and fingers are crossed for him and hopefully it's, it's better news than obviously we're fearing for at the minute. Their first goal, disappointing in, in the fact that it was a breakaway from your own corner. Yeah, I think that's something that we'll look at in the next few days about obviously stopping then breaking from our own obviously set piece which is obviously disappointing and they, they was clinical with it they're obviously a top team one of the best teams in the league it's always going to be a hard place to come so when you're making mistakes like that it's going to be costly and right at the start of the second half you had the chance didn't you to, to get level with the penalty yeah I think he scored two match winning penalties so we can't be too hard on him he's for me the best striker in the league he's going to going to miss penalties it happens to the best Messi's of the world do you know what I mean so can't be too hard on him and he's gone and scored which is what he does yeah. so um, we had chances we could have got an equaliser if we got the second one early enough but this one not there but then they got their second and their third certainly the second one seemed to be a bit of a free header from a, a, a free kick and then the third one didn't deal with the the initial ball into the box and then the, the man just found himself unmarked yes to be fair he looked at the goals back obviously you've probably seen them back again but something obviously we're going to have to look at and review and see where we could have done better and we've got no time to waste because we've got two games coming up in the next week so we need to try and bounce back and get as many points as we can as a team you obviously know that being 3-0 down that's not the end of a match and you did get back into this uh, with Vic's goal yeah I think it shows like character in the group we didn't go hiding we're 3-0 down and we're still pushing we got the goal we could have got another we kept going we didn't stop and we kept fighting so that's all you can really do when you're in them situations obviously you don't want to be in that situation but when we was in it we kept going we kept fighting so that's all you can really ask for it. Mm. and you mentioned a couple of uh, big games at the CBS coming up yeah there's obviously Cardiff on next game we want to get three points and then we've got Bristol which is another tough game so back to back games we can try and hopefully be in the playoffs after them two then it's happy days you didn't say you want three points against Bristol though no I want three points more than any <laughs> game in the, in the league but obviously we'll see what happens um, we just got to focus on our next game which is Cardiff um, approach that game with obviously the same way we approach this one to get the three points and hopefully we can back it up the game after that yeah. officially halfway through the season now 23 games played oh Coventry where you, you expected them to be yeah I would have said we want to be in the top six we've got the squad we've got the staff we've got everything that can get us into the top six we've got the fans that push us and they're here every game home or away so for me I think we're top six club and that's got to be the ambition and I think if we keep pushing and everyone stays fit and strong then we can we've got every chance as every other team has yeah last few games you've been on the bench obviously introduced uh, played pretty much the whole match today where are you in terms of fitness um, I was getting fit obviously I felt fit just before the break and then I had a problem with my knee a little bit so that was a bit of a setback but now I'm back training every day and came on the last few games so I'm pushing pushing as much as I can um, to get fit again so hopefully I can get back in the team and try and show everyone what I can do enjoying your football yeah I'd say definitely I love it here I love the club I love the staff I love everything about it but it's about winning so obviously today is quite disappointing that we've come here and lost 3-1 but other than that yeah I'm really enjoying it just check behind no the manager wasn't there so you, you said that off your own back <laughs> no no I said that off my own back I enjoy it I enjoy my football um, enjoying the staff I'm enjoying developing and obviously a coach that I knew very well in the youth team so just got to keep on enjoying and obviously try and get three points more often